Morning girls, how are we doing? We're back here with Chantel and most likely not Salah based on all the information that's been coming out recently. All right, I said I wasn't really going to cover the rage of the drama or anything like that because it's two hours long, but a couple people came and said it's pretty good. So it is on 1.5 times speed. Now I'm going to tell you that right at the start because I know some people don't like it fast. However, this is two hours long and I, I don't know how much of this is going to actually be interesting to react to, but people said it's really good and so I should react to it. So we're going to go into it. I'm going to try and pause less than I usually do because it is a live stream, so it's a longer one. So I guess we're just going to get into it. We get to stare at this fucking glorious facade to start with. I'm glad she has the relief zipper here just in case she eats too much fucking rice. She can unzip a bit, let one of the chins out. You know, fantastic. Let's go. Jeez. Hello. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I'm also not Hello. having... Shut up. I'm also, not... My popcorn. I'm also not having the... Um... Um the chat on the side and all because the chat is so carefully curated nowadays and basically no one even comes in troll anymore what really is the point of the chat so okay okay let's go yes, all right so yeah i know i said i wasn't gonna react to anything but i feel like it's necessary to react to a few things well no um because i was like you know what you react constantly what okay what's with the one red eye <laughs> what's with the one red eye <laughs> look at that it's a total di change of the sky. No, I said I wasn't going to pause much for 27 seconds and I paused like three times. But look, it's a total di di a change in coloration between the two eyes. So she must have been rubbing away at that one a lot. So I don't know. She must have been crying or something like that because she's so upset about this. But I I, th I know I said I wasn't going to write, but sometimes it's necessary to write. That has been her excuse every single time she's ever reacted to anything. Everyone is saying that Mr. Cardigan's fair. He does really good oh, research. <laughs> oh. We'll get to that in a minute. Research. <laughs> Mr. Cardigan. Oh. How will he recover? He does really good documentaries. He does, um, yes. Number one, Mr. Number Cardigan, two. you say that my I'm not I'm not a very good YouTuber. Yeah, you know. What about you? Oh fuck, she got got him for an accent. I bet at least he can spell French right. What about you? Yep. Making clout, making um, a following uh -huh. off of the haters and uh, off of the same two women with eating disorders. Uh, um, what about? He's made the documentaries on numerous people. You're like the sixth person he's made a documentary on. So, so I, I don't know. Does Cyrax have an eating disorder? <laughs> Is Cyrax a, a, an obese woman with an eating disorder? I don't think so. Uh, hello, Amanda. Also, didn't he get a hundred thousand subscribers without having to buy them? I'm just, uh, just you know, spitballing. When it comes along. Um. So here's the thing. Ah! Mr. Cardigan. Has <laughs> she's out at the hookah. You know, she's upset. Himself in this part one to uh -huh. be nothing more than a glorified hater. Okay. Um. With better editing skills, because let's face yeah. it, referencing your credible, your, his credible research is referencing Michael B. What the fuck is going on in the background? Uh, are those the fireworks going off in the Kuwait National Day? Is that the fireworks going off in the background? And man, I see you next Tuesday on Kiwi Farms. Okay. Okay. So. Um, Kiwi Farms is a hate, a vile, racist hate forum. All right. Did you feel that way when you used the information from it though to try and throw like I don't know like an unpaid rent or something like that in FFG space because she directly sourced Kiwi Farms for that. So weird her opinion has changed on that. It also, yes, th there's a lot of hate on Kiwi Farms. However, it, it is one of the best archival sites. Um, so you're going to hear these people doing this with their cars. So <laughs> why are you so annoyed? People are having a fun time. Number one, are you you're jealous? not saying anything that mil like that hundreds Millions? of thousands of people have not already seen or okay. said. You're talking so? about things that happened literally. Okay, guys. World War II documentaries, you're cancelled. No one's allowed to make a World War II documentary. Someone else, someone's done that already. What? Did it, did it, uh, uh, Anthony Beaver, you're not allowed to write another World War II book. I'm, I'm sorry, I know I just bought one today, but I'm going to throw it right in the bin because someone else might have mentioned it once before. 20 years ago, or six years ago, um, things that I've already addressed. So you're being <laughs> the big first. You're talking about things that happened 20 years ago, or, or, or six. S slight, slight. Some people would say literally a lifetime of a difference between those. You know, some people might say that. Also, I didn't realize BBJ thing happened 20 years ago. Fuck, I'm old. Oh, to the point of it being pulp at this point. Okay. All right, so. Then why are you upset about it? Few of those things that make me a vile person. Number well, one thing that everything. gets to me every- Okay, okay, look, here's like the easiest thing. If this is something millions of people have been said, as she randomly claimed, millions of people have already said, this is about her. Why do you care? Like, why? why? Why would a million and one person, why, why would that be the breaking point? Every time is um, putting my sister in the dryer. Listen, this Kathy <laughs> friend of mine suddenly turned against me, okay? okay? And she's psychotic. I could show you emails or messages I've had. Hi, okay. everybody. Message I could show you the fucking, this bitch whore. So, hi, everyone. How are you doing? This whore. 
Okay, Jesus Christ. We went we went through like an entire manic episode there in one sentence. Just I've had from this woman. Then show them. She's harassed other people like this. You didn't okay. do your research well enough. You just then take her word for it. Okay. She then is vile. She is. Well, no, he's just like reporting what someone said. I don't think he's saying this is 100% factual in a court of law. I find this true in a court of law. Miriam, you're going to jail when you come back to Canada because the courts have found you guilty of Dumbledore assassination. A stalker. She is, is she? like insane, psychotic, okay? Fantastic. And Are you I've not? I've been her friend for a while. Sure. Um, you did not see the emails that she sent to me. Are you going to show those emails that Are she you... sent to me first? Are you going to show those, the th emails that only I have? Are you going to show them? Are you going to give them to him? Anytime someone says, I have all these receipts, I can show you all these receipts. Like, the, wh why, why aren't you? literally right now wouldn't this be the best time to show them if you're going to discredit this person when wouldn't, wouldn't you like show them anytime anyone ever says that no they have fuck all because if she had it she'd be showing it harassing me every single day saying the most vile things okay um she what did you say back when i was with my sister maybe two times like okay. barely ever so and one of those times apparently you stuck your sister in a tumble dryer <laughs> apparently one of those times it's just so just her only being there twice doesn't mean it's actually not true i don't know how she's a credible source of information for my past because she's only um, been there twice what i never put my sister in a dryer prove it i never um <laughs> prove it i'm just saying it, 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 i haven't watched the documentary we all know that so like i'm saying i'm going in a wee bit blind to this but i don't know if did mr snowflake say 100 percent i have factual proof that this happened like he, he isn't saying that this is proof this has actually happened i'm sure he's just saying there's been an allegation that she did this by someone who apparently is her friend which some people would argue is a credible source told her she can't sit with us prove it okay i never ever treated her badly so that's one person sure. who say i treat badly in my life well you just called her a psychotic stalker i think that sounds like you treated her badly that you can scratch off your list sure compared to a lot of oh. civil rivalries i've seen in my life mine was pretty good maybe she's annoyed me a few times i was 11 again if you want to go back over 20 years wow that's your prerogative i don't know why people are so obsessed if a documentary needs to be made it needs to be the level of, of obsession with my past as a child you know i've seen comments people saying her dad this kathy person said my dad ran like as if that it's my fault as a two-year-old that my dad left are you serious like please <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe you're a really annoying two-year-old. <laughs> maybe you're an annoying two-year-old. I already said maybe he was like Charles Xavier. Maybe he was like Jesus Christ. I can foresee the future. I know what this bitch is gonna become. So get that hook out. Already for this stupid hook away. Series. Um, again, I don't live in my past. If you have something relevant to say, you literally, you literally do because you're talking about it right now. Uh, in the recent year, go for it. I know it's gonna be the scandal with someone. Baby Whatever. We've already worked it out. We have a right to do that. Baby J, uh, shitting on people, visa runs, everything like that. Because the pizza one is straight after this. It's our marriage. Hi, teardrop. Is it your marriage? That, isn't that like the argument though? Is it your marriage? Is it actually your marriage? It's futile defending, but you know what? Um, Why are you here? That person went on Kiwi Farms as a friend, made up insane lies about me, okay. which there's no proof of. Okay. Um, she was vile. She used to have a crush You're vile. on Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold from the- Oh my god. Eric Harris and Derek Klebold? Oh my god. No, guys. I don't- uh, Guys, I'm sorry. I'm actually on her side for this. Eric Klebold? Oh my- Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Why does this make a- What the fuck does this make a difference? The Columbine shootings, all right? She used to- Oh, okay. Them. I had no idea who those people were, so that, scratch, I'm going to leave it in, because I'm an honest person. Scratch that last joke, because I had no idea who the fuck those people were. Okay, so before you use her as your credible source of information to uh -huh. dictate my morality growing up, maybe research her first. Didn't you like Saddam Hussein? <laughs> I'm going to counter-raise you, actually. Didn't you like Saddam Hussein, because Nader likes Saddam Hussein? I'm going to counter-raise that point. Hi, everybody who said hi. <laughs> hi, everybody who said hi. Now, back to this whore. <laughs> Jesus, she's psychotic. <laughs> she's actually right, insane. So I can go over the disgusting crap she did. Okay, then do it. She did some very nasty stuff to her sister. And her oh. sister was a teenager and she was a teenager. Okay. So don't even go there, all right? Please. Oh, okay. I'm not going to go there because she's whatever. You just did. But she's literally insane. Like, she is... Aren't you? She, she also lied about me. Bro, you're literally going fucking nuts here. And then started to go, Hi, Teardrop! Hi! You, you signed insane. Living with everyone's boyfriends? No, she did that. Okay. She did that. Um... So I was seeing somebody, and behind my back, she did, she did something with somebody else. Anyway, Were I don't want to get into that, but she was the one. All I'm going to say is that she was like a fucking skank, and she like slept with like the fucking football coach. Oh my god. Uh, I was like, uh, bitch, you can't sit with us. And I was like a mean girl or something like that. And then I joined the cheerleading team. The fuck? <laughs> She's the one who's saying that you can't talk about all this past shit because it doesn't matter. I know you're like, she was a whore, and she was like sleeping with other people's boyfriends. Oh my god. Like, as your actual defense here. What the fuck? She's a liar, basically. Not okay. credible source of information. Fantastic. All right. Um, Love it. What Good else? Defense. Oh yeah, the cheese graveyard. Oh yeah, I'm such a bad person <laughs> for that because I was yeah. talking about a true about a true crime, you know, like Stephanie Sue does in all of her videos, and she has millions.
Does she laugh at it though? Does she laugh at it whilst eating cheese? <laughs> like, so, I don't know, Stephanie. So, does she laugh at it when eating cheese? That's some, that's that's my gauging factor the here. Subscribers? I don't know. Like what? Because I was eating cheese on Halloween at Cheese Graveyard. I'm and laughing I wasn't at disrespectful. It. You I was are. talking very calmly. I didn't say, haha, those people are dead. Did I say that? No, Basically, I yes. So how am I being disrespectful? You're listening to a literal hater. Like, it's a so literal stupid. hater? Not Number a figurative? Two, like, I show dead <laughs> Like, uh, and then she just had a fucking brand melt. Bodies on the, they were covered in a sheet. I was showing the Nikes. And I'm sorry, but uh -huh. those people so were part of the cult. Well, that was what they wanted to do. So, what? I mean, something that- So, like, you, let, so you did. Your argument is, you're saying I showed dead bodies? Well, I only did, kind of. <laughs> What a stellar defense. Didn't she laugh at people like jumping out of like the World Trade Center during 9-11? Did she laugh at that too? Happened so many years ago. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's too soon to talk about that. Yeah, it was a lot of cheese, but come on. Whatever. Like again, going over that things an important part. that were so long ago. Like what the heck? People are allowed to change. People are allowed to be different. But you have I'm um, saying that I treat everyone in my life poorly. Like who? You know, everyone. Pete's? Okay. Everyone. Yes, I did cheat on him. We were... <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi. Why would you even address this when you're always so bad at addressing things? Name me one person like Pete's. I've never cheated. Well, okay, except those times when I did. Why would you even bring up Pete's as a point if you're then going to argue your own point? No, we're still good friends. So if he doesn't have a problem so? with it anymore, why should it, like ran just because Pete's is a cuck does not mean you didn't treat him badly. And I'm strangers. You don't know uh, the the dynamic of our relationship. You don't know. We do. We see um, it very clearly. The circumstances of everything. Even going far back and saying I threw a chair out of jealousy. Who cares? <laughs> how does that like? How did I do? Who cares if I threw a chair at someone? Jesus Christ. Who cares? It's totally. Is it? Isn't it? Is that totally normal? Is it? Even weirder that I seem to think that that's like an acceptable thing of behavior. Now, whilst I'm arguing, people can change, but I'm still arguing. Who cares right through a chair? Anything different than a lot of people, you know? I, um, I'm just going to say, guys, on record, I've never thrown a chair at anyone or even in anger, just in general. So I'm getting blocked. Yeah, I know, but Lolo, I'm just trying to like point out where they're liars. They're complete liars. You know, it's like Who's there's 5,000 people, about 5,000 haters. I get it. They're all the same people that uh -huh. have been hating on me forever. You know, they're all the same people. They're all FFG. <laughs> all of them are FFG soccer cards. People in the chat I see are like, oh, you said some vile things to me in Cuba Rage. Yeah, but what yeah. about what you said to me? Like, I always defend myself. I don't oh just go off God. on people for no reason. Okay, just I, I've, I've covered this point numerous times. But defending yourself is it's like someone swings at you and you punch them or something like that. That's like defending yourself. Okay. Defending yourself is someone says, you're gross because you did this. And you're like, no, I didn't. Here's proof or receipts that I didn't do that. That's defending yourself. FFG saying you're fat and you're, you're not married to someone. You're defend, you're, it's not defending yourself to go, well, guess what? You're a fucking ugly whore who smokes. That's not a defense. If you've come in here and you've said some really nasty things to me and I've been nasty back, it's not preferable. It's not good. But yeah, I'm human, okay? And mm. I've been pushed to limits Are you? sometimes where I've said things I don't really like, you know? Well, it, not sometimes, like constantly. I think, isn't that the issue? Like it's constant. They do lie. Um, do saying they? I, was, I saw a lie and people believe it. And that's why they don't like me, okay? I don't mean, well, but like no, saying- No, that but no, but no one likes you. That's the thing, like no one likes you. It's one of those things, like I said, if you're in a room of hundred people, 99 people in that room say you're a piece of shit. You probably are the piece of shit. For example, that I wasn't with my, I abandoned my grandmother when she was dying. Yeah, I and my mother, did. I've said this a million times. We were the only ones there. You of the entire family but you holding her hand to her last breath. So how did No, I but you said that you weren't because you couldn't go in because you refused to get the COVID vaccine. And you weren't. And then you were like coked up, like laughing about it, like right afterwards. Like literally, I think it was like, the same night. Abandon her. Never happened. Fake lies. Well, um, not really because people have already proven that's yeah, not true. Exactly, Stride. They only focus on the reaction to what people say about me. Limbug, welcome to Very Important Beast. Ready, set, these. Thank you, Limbug. <laughs> Just that, I'm sorry. Look. That we like to treat our audience like crap for not supporting us when we... Fail yes. on diet. No, what we yes. don't like is the fact that, you know, there's been a point, there's been a long journey with this where we didn't really recognize all the time that, you know, that we had eating disorders. For a long time, I just thought I was like overeating. I didn't even really understand. No, she's claimed she's had an eating disorder like the entire time. And what I had as an eating disorder at the beginning of my YouTube and I failed diet. Also, gonna argue, still actually not a defense. Just saying, well, I treat people like shit, but it's not my fault. I have an eating disorder. That doesn't really, like, I don't know. Eating disorder does not equate to treating people like shit unless you're Eating them, I get. If you eat them, maybe that would be an argument. Maybe that'd be defense. I have an eating disorder. I just happened to eat one of my followers. Maybe I could buy that, but by calling them an ugly whore, I don't really think that's an eating disorder thing. I it's a lot, yeah. But what I would be defensive about is people coming in and fat shaming me and putting me down for not 
you thought you shamed yourself. So that's what I was addressing. I would address the shaming, you know, of people coming in and saying, you're such a failure, we know it. And then you're going to say I'm a bad person for defending. That's not fat shaming. Saying you're a failure is not fat shaming. Defending myself against that kind of behavior, abusive behavior towards myself, of me saying, you know, um, what's her what is with her audio? There is fucking constant crackling in her audio recently. It's really annoying. Bad if you don't like it, you know, get out of here. Well, it's true, you know. Um, just because I put it out on the inter internet doesn't mean I Implement? have to accept your Implement? abuse towards me over and over again and not well, ever say anything about it, you know. Well, you, you, you can't because you're the one who's decided to monetize your life and make your life like the public freak show. Like, it's kind of is on you. You got to take the good with the bad. You can't just be like, nope, everything has to be perfect for me. You, you're not allowed to just ever say anything negative about me because, I don't know, I, I, I'm basically a perfect human being and I have an eating disorder, apparently. Oh, and it's just so stupid. Like, I don't know. What you can argument. be more popular than me, I don't care, but the fact that you do the same documentaries people have done a million times on Amberlynn and I, it just makes you another yeah. stupid hater with nothing new to say. Are there, like, a million documentaries, like, like Mr. Snowflakes about Amberlynn or Foodie Beauty? Are there? Like, because, like, I'll answer that for you. There, there aren't. There just, just aren't. There aren't really many documentaries about them. There's reaction channels and stuff like that and compilations and, like, clips and stuff like that and archives. But it's not, like, documentaries. So, congratulations. <laughs> Oh, she is so. So that, those are all falsehoods. What else? What else? I'm disgusted. Oh, I farted. Sorry. Nobody ever passes wind. I guess, right? Oh, uh, okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm I sure mean, that was a major criticism. I'm sure. I'm sure in the documentary, he was like, "Look, she did this. She laughed about dead people. She laughed about people jumping out of the buildings in 9/11." But, but guys, she farted. Like, I just, I, I couldn't look past that. Again, that's something that you're gonna like be grossed out over me passing wind six years ago, like, or telling a story. The story about the, the, three, the other two people. Let me tell you about that story time. They invited me. I was in Cornwall. They were in Ottawa. Oh my they god. They paid a cab. Is she so, seriously going back to the story that no one actually believes is real? Are we really going back to the story where it was her trying to flex of, I totes have the sex, guys. Like, are we seriously doing that? Me. And they were really nice to me on the uh, chat and everything. They saw my picture, everything, okay? They Your saw catfish like, picture, yeah. There was, they paid for me 150, 120 to 150 bucks for me to taxi to them. And then all, to me to get all the way there and they treat me like they're snobby towards me. You know, uh -huh. obviously, I'm going to feel a certain way about that. And I was totally normal. I didn't pass wind. I didn't act gross. I, I was totally normal. I just showed up. I was catfished. I was drunk because I was drinking my entire way over there during the trip. Uh, I showed up. I was fat and gross. And they were expecting someone who'd look nothing like me to show up. Then I got really drunk and then I shit in their bathroom. But, you know, not in the toilet. Like, most people would shit in the bathroom. Just, you know, on the floor. Like, I was totally normal to them. See, I, I'm going to say, you know why she keeps saying this all happened years ago and I'm a totally different person? If you're trying to justify this behavior, you might not be a different person. I acted normal. I was actually kind of shy. We were <laughs> I acted normal. And everything like that. And then um, they like bought me a bunch of alcohol, like a ton of alcohol, shots, beer, whatever. Yeah, but you already claimed that you drank a half bottle of Jack on the drive over. Like, that's already her claim. So she's weirdly tried to change the story because, like, all, all she seems to be doing is lying now. Which is the biggest problem. Because when you're lying about a story that you have already told, and it is documented online, like this, it's like where she starts suddenly making it sound like they purposely got her as drunk as possible, and then her shitting herself was a result of that, and it's their fault that she did that. The fact that she's changed that story means we can't believe the other things that you said were lies because you're lying about this, and we know for certain you are. And then, like, at first it was okay a bit. Then near the end of the night, that's when things started getting, you know? And, and you um, shit they everywhere. had no plumbing. Like, I didn't know that. Their, their toilet had no plumbing. They had no water. So now the toilet didn't have any... Your initial argument was that there was no toilet paper. That was the only argument. That there was just no toilet paper. Now, apparently, none of the toilets or water worked in the... Okay. <laughs> This is why I say you can't trust anything. She's, see, this person, they're lying about me because they lie all the time. And also they're a whore and they slept with someone's boyfriend. Once, uh, oh, my God. Can you imagine? Even though, like, she admitted to cheating repeatedly, I guess. But no, no, no. Now it's just like, oh, I'm just going to change the story entirely. Believe me on everything else I say. They had no toilet paper. They had no What am I supposed to do? Like, am I villainized? You said that they had a towel because you said you wiped yourself down with a towel, didn't they? Didn't she? Oh, no, wait, she didn't. She wiped herself down with clothes that she brought a sweater she brought. For not being, not being able to hold in my bodily functions. Like, huh? please. Yeah, he never passes gas. Yeah, exactly. Why do you just... It's just... What, it's weird I mean, that what you the feel heck? the need to lie it. about this. I don't get the obsession with these things. These story times from years ago. This is like... Well, why? What, what's the big deal? I don't get it. I don't know why you're freaking the fuck out about it. If you don't care and you don't get it, why Why do you care? Why are you having this absolute meltdown now? If it's like... It's a story time from years ago. Who cares? Like, if someone said to me, Hey, Potato Man, do you remember that time you drank a liter of vodka because you were trying to impress people and you fucking passed out? Like an R into the party and you look like a fucking tit. If people said to me, like, oh, yeah, fuck, yeah, I remember that one. 
That would be it. I wouldn't be like, why are you bringing it up now? I would, like, because it's like, oh yeah, it's a silly story from when I was young. That that that's how I would react. It. Okay, why are you talking about it? Why are you bringing this up? Why are you trying to make me sound like a bad person? You trying to make me sound awful? Like, what? I wouldn't react to that because I wouldn't care. It's like, oh, yep, I was dumb. Whoopsie. Pass me and cut the cheese. Seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do I, I believe that's water in there? And yeah, an article was found about the cheese graveyard, but they didn't take a stance on it. They wanted my opinion. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, wanted, have... they wanted my opinion on eating cheese. Was talking about dead people. Snipe this premiere plan too. Yeah, I think I will. I oh think I God. will because you know what? I bet part two Why is going to be victim shaming because I can tell the tone he's Why just listening you? to haters as his like credible sources of information. Please, it's all crap. Oh my God, it's so crap! Why don't you? Of course, people. Love I love she. She like aggressively blows it at the camera because that is like it, like I've seen people do it before. Well, they will like vape and they'll blow it in someone's face, and it's just like a sign of aggression because it's like just trying to demean you. It's like spitting in your face. You now that is exactly what she's trying to do with her chat here. A drama. She can't change and won't. And like, do you think you're a good person by coming in and telling somebody that they can't change? Well, I've made a lot can't. of changes, and you're Have not you? the dictator of morality. Like what? Name in my one. Life, I'm sorry to tell you. Name one. Name one it's change. Years ago, literally. And, Name like, one change. Oh my gosh. Like um. Was BBJ a year ago? No, well, well, actually, yes, it was literally exactly one year ago. The thing with Pete's, like maybe 17 years ago that happened? Okay. So I'm not allowed to change and be a better person and make mistakes? But didn't you like abandon him once you got Salah? Because you said you'd never abandon him because you love him so much and he's so important to you. And you literally abandoned him so much so that he had a massive freakdown on stream and talked about, well, I might as well just die then because he's having such a fucking meltdown because you suddenly decided that you guys were moving to like a new place together. And then you made up that fucking relish story and pretended and lied and decided not to move and just left him fucking stranded. So he now has to live in some old lady's apartment like fucking in their upstairs room where apparently there's only room in that cupboard for one jacket i'm never gonna get over that one fucking jacket <laughs> so like even recently you've kind of fucked over pete's please like get a life and also i have no sympathy for pete's because like you're a grown-ass man you shouldn't need this thing to fucking look after you but you're the one who claimed that you would never see him suffer and then you fucked him over <laughs> I've never seen someone so aggressively so, yeah. sucking on a hookah. I'm allowed to address things if I want, you know? You are. Um, no, it's no not one my said own you words. aren't. It's not my own words. That's the thing. He didn't use my own words. Like, some of the stuff, yeah. But what's the big deal? Like, what's the inference? I he never used my own words, except the times when he did. What the fuck? How will he recover? No one will ever trust his documentarian skills again. You're taking from me telling a story time that happened 17 years ago. That That's not even the same person anymore. And then making up things you from a hater f former friend who made up all these lies about me. Where's your proof? But, oh my God, it's he's literally, I'm, like I said, I haven't seen it. I am sure he is not saying there is undeniable proof that this happened. I'm pretty sure he's just saying someone said, I have heard of this person before. I remember uh, the man at the internet. I remember Josh Moon mentioning them. That was like one of my first experiences of Chantal. I remember him mentioning this person. That's it. That's all I really remember about it. Like, I don't, I've never seen the evidence that put forward. Maybe they put forward rock solid evidence. Maybe they showed a picture of her sister in the tumble dryer being like, ah, maybe, I don't fucking know. But like, I don't know. Maybe in the documentary, he just said, there's an allegation that she did this, which is fine. You're allowed to say there's an allegation that this happened. If you're so offended by it, why didn't you sue that person for making up a lie that you apparently stuck your sister in a tumble dryer? I'm sure your sister would back you up on it. It's not a credible, using Kiwi Farms as a credible source of information it from is, yes. people who literally hate my guts. Yes. You don't think that they have lives to tell? Come on, please. And then yeah, but when a lot of it's like archive and like, like, like the biggest problem with her is when she says that everything ever is told about her is a lie, like the BBJ thing when there's actual like veterinary records and she constantly changes her story on it. When she just goes, everything on Kiwi Farms is a lie. It's like, well, no, like most of the stuff on the Kiwi Farms is, if you're not looking at just like random posts that are just like Chantelle is fat and I would not have sex with her. If you're looking at like the posts that are archiving like her live streams or her like community tab posts, that, how are those fake? Those are literally her own words. And then the irony is that you're going to sit there and, and call up my lies in a documentary, which I haven't seen any yet, by the way. I haven't seen any yet. So. Okay. Wait. I, the problem with this is I've already seen lies in the first 14 minutes of this two hour long live stream. Don't hate on Kiwi Farms because of the women in the beauty parlor. And I'll send you a card. Well, I'm just saying that they can be pretty hateful. The people, at least on my page, and I've seen some other things, okay? And I've Maybe seen... Maybe you shouldn't go to it? Especially this Kathy friend. She was horrible. She was harassing me every day. And, and also, she slept with other people's boyfriends. Have I mentioned that yet? Does that discredit her enough? Like, I know I cheat all the time, too. But, you know, just saying. Pretty sure I put her emails out there, too. Of course no one's going to show that. Did you? No, of course not. Threatening CPS on her? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And I'm pretty sure I apologized for that a long time ago. I did never you? did it. I never did it. I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe. I don't fucking know. You're just going to take that as fact with me saying that because I think I maybe did, maybe. Um, 
I said she, I didn't think that she should be in, you know, raising children because of her level of morality. Imagine sitting around um, being a hateful harasser and uh -huh. your kids are privy to this. Same thing with some of the reaction channels. Saying the yeah, but do, uh, her calling you like a fat dickhead online, do you think she does the same thing with her children? Or do you think she just calls you a fat dickhead because maybe you are a fat dickhead? Maybe that, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe like her, like her ability to insult you online does not in any way equate to her life. Like, cause like me, me making my YouTube videos doesn't affect my real life in literally any way. <laughs> like the, the two of them do not, they do not cross in any way whatsoever. So when your entire argument is, well, she's mean to me online. So I think her children should be taken away from her. You kind of look fucking nuts. The most disgusting things, fat shaming the same fat women online and oh my raising God. children. What kind of children? Oh my God, what? she should not have children. She called you fat. Oh. No wonder, no, no wonder there's so many kids in orphanages around the world. Everyone who's ever called someone fat, have to take that child away from them. Are you gonna raise bullies? Hello. You're you know. a bully though. So she like literally this entire thing is you attempting to bully this woman. Like, so like, okay, are you uh, confessing you should never be allowed children? This was like so horrible to me. And I was just like pushed to a point where I'm like, you know, and I never called anything. I never called them on her. I never did that. Sure. So hi, Vam Tiva, Pam. Where's my words, Tiny Pop, that I wasn't there for my grandmother? Where's my words that I mm -hmm. put my sister in the dryer and treated her horribly? Where's my words on that? Hmm? I'm sure that's probably coming because I, I, don't, I don't know why. I, I don't even know where the documentary went up to because, like I said, I haven't seen it. So, like, she's, she's saying the second, the next part, I bet that's all victim blaming because I, I assume then the next part is the Natter stuff and the grandma thing happened during the Natter stuff. So her acting, hmm, where is it? Hmm? Probably, probably in part two. Can you tell me? No, you can't. Yeah. Block. She has this like habit of any times any because I, I remember this from back during the Natter arc and the after the Natter arc where she would always have people like challenge her in chat and they would say like they would say something like that to her. Well, you said this and say where where's the evidence? Hmm? Pro post it right now. And then she blocked them so they can't. <laughs> she just instantly blocked them so they can't. You can't say show me the evidence and then block the person so they can't show the evidence. No, they're not from my mouth. My story times, yeah, sure. But so what? What? How does my story times make me a bad person that I had to use the washroom and there was nothing to clean up with? That, that kind of does make you a bad person. Like, I'm just saying, if, if I ever, like, went in and I shit all over someone's fucking bathroom floor and threw up all over the walls, I wouldn't just leave in the middle of the night and be like, fuck you guys, you can clean that up in the morning. I don't fucking care. It's your fault for not having toilet paper. Why, why, why would I go and ask that person for toilet paper or cleaning supplies so I could clean up my mess? Why, why would I do that? That's, yeah, that that's, actually does make you like a terrible person. The things that he's saying make me a horrible person are things that haters went over a million times that are not like the cheese graveyard. That was so long ago. And it, no, I'm it was so long ago, so it just doesn't count anymore, guys. I have a cutoff period of one week. If I did anything within the last week, you can criticize me for that. And I'll still say that you're lying and it isn't actually true. Before that, you're not, that's, that's ages ago. I'm sorry, I don't regret that. I don't regret that at all because I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I'm telling a story so? about a dumb call who did some really dumb things. And to me, I thought it was ridiculous. Like, you know, and I was just pointing out the story. I wasn't saying, oh my gosh, it's so funny. They're it's also kind of ridiculous to sit there and do that whilst like dressed in a pink wig, eating big blocks of cheese. That sounds, that sounds kind of ridiculous. Yeah, you know, people do true crime and mukbangs all the time. Like, but because it's me, I get singled out. Don't even deny it. I enjoyed all yeah, but th th this was before you had like a big hit audience. Like, like, it wasn't that one of the first things that really pushed her into like the limelight. This wasn't like she did it yesterday, and it's like she has an established hater base where like ninety nine percent of people who watch her despise her. This was like ages ago. Back when yeah, probably there were people who disliked her, but it wasn't like nowadays. Oh, exactly. So many people love my story times. It's what made me uh, who anyone? I was then on my channel. Does anyone? You know. So how are you going to sit there now? No, people like laughing at you. They didn't go like, ah, oh, she's such an interesting and relatable and likable person. They laughed at you that was it's not the same thing like i realize she's a narcissist so she doesn't realize that people laughing at her wasn't people laughing with her but you know you know kind of hate on it when you guys all love the entertainment from it you know what i mean yeah laughing at you yeah lady ravenhill exactly Something's yeah they said upset. i put my sister in the dryer yeah why'd you do that yeah he spent a few minutes talking about that with no proof at all uh -huh. but that's I, I apparently you know treated the cult was manipulative yeah well so like still i'm still allowed to talk about it it doesn't mean like I'm being disrespectful by talking about something that happened so many years ago and well, whilst eating cheese and laughing about it. That's not disrespectful. That's like normal, right? That's isn't it? Is it? Is it the fact that she is still defending us and doesn't realize that it was a bad look really shows that she just hasn't changed. Like, I don't know. It's so weird that people were so offended by that. Like people are so offended by anything I talk about, you know, what were they offended about recently? That was well, such a stretch. Well, that's probably a you problem. If like other people can do it and like, and they, they do it in a way that people are okay with it but you do it and it's not okay repeatedly, that's probably you. You are the one common factor. 
Oh yeah, I apparently was laughing at the uh, you know when I was telling the true crime story I recently did, even though yeah, I was just laughing at the name Schneeberger. And yeah. again, you're gonna like say, oh she's disgusting. Like this this kind of outrage is what I'm talking about. You know? No, I never bought subs. Prove it. I never did. Not once. I could show you my bank statements. Uh huh. Okay. I'm wait. I'm lit. I'm waiting. Is this one of the, one of those things I mentioned earlier on? We said I could literally show you the proof, and then you just don't. <laughs> like, and then you just don't. Unfortunately, your words and actions. No, tiny puff. No, it's the 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 lies being told and the twisting and the outrage because people make money off of that. People make money off of that. I'm a very normal. But no, but you make you make money off your lies as well. Like the, the fact that she tries to act so pious and it's like she has never made up shit for lies or never lied for like money or anything like that. Well, like, yeah, you have. A person and with a past like everyone else, and I'm Are a different you? person now. I don't do those no, outrageous things that I've done. Everyone's done outrageous things in their past, maybe even worse than some of the. Not even fucking close, bro. <laughs> Not even fucking. I love. She does like to paint like everyone who hates her uh, is like in like a same broad brush. I've never abused an animal. I've never fucking taken meth off some crack by head's fucking floor just to try and win him over. I've never cheated on anyone. I've never called anyone. I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it. A little bee bastard. You know, when he was talking about the children of the person she was apparently sleeping with who had a wife. You know, that that thing. I've, ne I've never done anything like that. I've never apologized for a potentially racist comment whilst eating a bucket of fried chicken. I've never done any of that weirdly, you know, but I, I would consider myself somewhat a normal person. Story times I've told. And if I was so ashamed of the things I did in my past, I acknowledge them. I own them. You know, I don't hide from them. I've shared them with everybody. You know? But you're literally rewriting them right now, bro. That doesn't make sense. Is someone getting blocked? Uh, Mr. Snowflake cheats on his family with girls on his Discord. I don't need proof someone said it. Exactly. You know, saying that I put my sister in the dryer is a pretty <laughs> big accusation with no- But you, then you, but you just, you just took an accusation there with no evidence. Like, her entire argument is Mr. Snowflake is accusing me of stuff with no proof, even though he doesn't, I, like I said, I, I haven't seen him. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's probably just talking about the accusation against you. He's not himself making the accusation. He's just saying, I was there. I was I was actually the tumble dryer that, got, <laughs> that her sister got stuck in. I actually was pretending to be a tumble dryer that day. But you just went with the allegation that he's cheating on his wife or whatever the fuck, wife, girlfriend, I have no idea what his actual relationship is with women. Like, I, you're the one who just spread that. No proof. No proof. And yet you just spread something with Why no proof. Why don't I apologize for my wrongdoings? Like what? All like what? It. I'm pretty sure I have. It doesn't matter. People don't no, want to be caught. People want to keep villainizing me. It's lucrative for them. That's what they want to do. So I'm just going to live my life, whatever. Keep beating the dead horse. With clearly. Seven she's clearly living her life, not paying any head to it whatsoever. 17, 20, 17, six years ago, it doesn't matter. Literally, I've grown one year ago, three months, six months ago, a week ago. It's weird that she has this like cutoff where everything apparently happened six years ago plus. Grown, I'm not that person. Yes, I'm still fat and I have problems with food. That doesn't make you a bad person. No, you're literally the same person though. That's the problem. This is a clear example of that. All right, like it doesn't. Being defensive when people come at you doesn't make you a bad person. Like, she has this really weird idea. Of I've already, I've already covered it. I know, but just say, someone like calling you fat. And you go on, you're a disgusting whore. Your children should be taken off you. That's not defending yourself. How is my past vile, Susan? Like what? You're vile. You are and just yes, a vile person. A lot person. of people do have a worse vile past, including people who react to me. Okay. So. So? Yeah, and see the way she said so? I also agree with the so. Just because someone else is a dickhead doesn't mean you aren't. <laughs> what? Exactly. Even if I did, I'm not going to apologize for what? For farting on camera? Like, yeah, what yeah, that, that's, that's obviously what people are talking story? about. That, that was so long ago? Like, I don't get it. I was just a kid, oh yeah. No. I was just a kid six years ago. Bro, you were like 34. <laughs> I was a kid six years ago. You were 34. I know, Willow Creek, I'm just bringing it up. Like, that's just so stupid. I find it just so dumb. Anyway, no, Ren, I'm pissed because it's not true. Uh -huh, get it right. Sure. Uh -huh. but, you haven't been able you to, but you haven't been able to argue any point. Your, your point has been that the woman who said stuff about you slept with other people's boyfriends. That that has been your actual counterpoint. Yeah. Fantastic. You find your point now, Hicka? I, I don't care. I didn't, and that's all I'm going to say. If you can prove no, it... No, 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 no. No, no, A second ago, you said you're going to show your bank statements. Show your bank statements. Fine. You can't. You know why? Because it didn't happen. Just like the dryer incident. It didn't happen. Show your bank statements. You um, just said you were going to. But I've myself a lot with things. I've had receipts about my medical records that I've been in outpatient care. I showed Have a you? lot of receipts in my life. Did they get Have you? Yes. Thank you. Thank Have you, Melissa. I wonder what Have she actually got for like no, I'm not super even, chats. I'm not even. I'm just 
I find it laughable that these people- Was she trying to pretend she wasn't angry? Is she was that actually her pretending? No, I'm not even angry. I'm laughing at them. C clearly, how could I get, how could I have been so wrong? People just keep beating the dead horse with the same stupid things that I've already addressed. You know, oh, I'm such a bad person over things that yep. are not even true. I never, ever did that. A You're lot a of those things. Person. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Oh, what a, oh, what? What a kind of point. I, I, I don't even know. We're, oh, fuck. How will we recover? The hater nation smashed to pieces. I went, went to bed with in my past so long ago. Why does that matter? You know, like, I don't know. It matters because it builds a portrait of who you are as a person. That's the important bit. So, yeah. Like, one bad thing people can forgive. Like, a couple bad things people can probably forgive. But if it's, like, a consistent behavior pattern, then it's like, okay, well, you're just a terrible person then. So you're like, oh, yeah, well, I did all that stuff, like, a wee, a wee while ago. Like, so it just doesn't turn. It's like, no, well, it's because you did it, it shows you're a bad person. So you're going to take a moral... You're going to believe somebody saying that I laughed, like, I did all these bad things, which are all lies. She said all lies. Somebody who idolized Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. Gotcha. Didn't you idolize Saddam Hussein? Didn't you say you felt sorry for him? Also, whilst weirdly your last video was you celebrating Kuwait Independence Day and Victory Day over Saddam Hussein. What, 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 those two don't really add up for me, but you know, that was years ago, like like two, but that's more than one year ago. So technically that's years ago, that's a plural. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Thank you, DJ, LOL. Like, yeah. Talk about these whores. Yeah, I know it's changed. I don't need to prove it to anybody. That's fine. Have, have you changed? But all you try and do is prove that you've changed. That is your entire thing right now, is trying so desperately to prove you've changed. And then we get this. <laughs> like, that's what we get. I need to see what my siblings did to each other. I have a scar in my face. Yeah, well, you know, I've never done anything like that to my sister. Have you never. not? And I have think she not? was jealous of You can think all you want. It doesn't make it true. I think she was jealous. Who, who were you talking about? Are you going to accuse your sister of being jealous? Was that because that's the one I was going for? Or are you trying to pretend this person who didn't like you was jealous of your sister or fucking something? Did she want to be you as well? You seem to think everyone who dislikes you wants to be you. Even though I literally couldn't think of anything I want to be less. Like, honest to God, I want to be Salah's shit on Kybella's chest more than I want to be you. You know, like, people just assume, like... I said, maybe, like, it was a bit hard to go from a single child to having... But my mother never ignored me, even though I had a sister, you know? So... You see, see don't know what the... Okay, I'm going to give you advice. if Because she's just terrible. She's terrible at defending herself. Which is why, even if there are lies about her, she can never get past them. Because she's always so terrible that she starts arguing. And then she always ends up counter-arguing her own argument. That little bit where it's like I was never even you know it's you know it was it was difficult for but I, I you know no 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 the fact that you introduced that you gave a better credence to it you shouldn't have said that at all yeah they live in the past to make money exactly so how credible and how genuine are is are these documentaries going to be is they're they kind, are they they're not documentaries they're just I mean if I'm such a I'm such a bad person and my content's crap but you make yes. multi series for hours on end yes. about me okay yes. got it. Is she aware that there's documentaries on Mao Zedong, Stalin, Hitler? And I'm, no, I'm, I'm not doing the A log thing of saying she's just as bad as that. I'm not. Fuck me. I'm not. I'm not mental. I'm not saying anything like that. But her argument is: if I'm such a bad person, why are you making documentaries and talking about me? It's like because people often make document. She literally is the person who's talking about like true crime, and she's talking about true crime because it's about bad people. Because people are interested in hearing about bad people how does she not get that how does she not get she just argued in defense of haters not liking her and talking about her if she's a bad person <laughs> i don't believe you i didn't put her in a dryer period did you not was it the washing machine is that it because i know you like to twist the lie is that it? because you're very specific about the dryer was it the washing machine instead yeah mr snowflake puts his kids in the dryer you put your your one of your relatives in the dryer somebody told me that it was Jimmy. Wow. Okay, see, that... Okay, so the whole argument, like I said, this is the whole, her defending. Because she'll later claim, I was just defending myself by saying that. Well, no, actually what you're doing is you're slandering him because he actually could sue you for that because you did just make up something. He isn't saying that you did that. He is saying someone made the accusation that you did that. That's more than likely what he said. Like I said, I haven't seen it. You just specifically said... He puts his kids in a fucking dryer because ha 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 ha. That is you actually making something up and actually slandering him. So she is so yeah. fucking stupid. And like that's the thing, people believe these dumb things. You know? No, I like the primary colors. Uh huh. Sheep, exactly. Let's chill out and fart together. I mean, so what? Like, uh, yes, at one point when I started YouTube, 
um, you know, like I was talking a lot about my and saying that BB never looked comfortable on camera because he, he didn't never did. want to be on camera ever. Then why'd you force him to be on camera? That means you're a bad person. How are we not getting this? This is why I said she's so bad at arguing points. Like he he didn't want to be on camera. I just made him be on camera. It's like oh, so you're a bad person. You were forcing him to be on camera when he didn't want to be on camera. Like. How the fuck does she not get one and one and equal two? People are always like, oh, he didn't love you. He didn't love you. We were he together didn't. seven years. So? And I broke up with him. I no, he didn't? What? Where the fuck did this come from? Where the fuck did this he broke up with you? You specifically said he broke up with you. What the fuck? Where the fuck did this come from? What the fuck? We were together for seven years. That doesn't mean he loved you. Sal Sal's apparently been with you for a year and he fucking hates you. Broke up with him. So how did he escape? He would have never left. Never. But we were what we are grew you apart. There was no like... I fell out of love. That's plain as- Didn't he move his sister in and his sister was like actually his girlfriend? Like that's a speculation, obviously. But like, she is- I've never heard her say before that she dumped him. It's always been the other way. Simple how it was. And like, um... Oh, she sounds insane. Do I regret cheating? Yeah. And I've said that a million times. I live with guilt from that all the time. So? You know? No, I'm not raging, but thanks for the five bucks. Oh, you are raging. So, um, he didn't like to be on camera, but I would just like, you know, he would say, okay, like, you know, he would do it for me, but he didn't really like it. He was not comfortable. Okay, so you forced someone to do something they weren't comfortable with. That's awful and terrible off you. It's a abusive thing to do in a relationship. It's really terrible that you'd even admit that. Thanks for admitting that, I guess, during this argument about how you're such a good person. Like it. Like he only mostly showed the back of his head, you know? And um Yeah, like Good argument I don't there. Know. Oh. Showing a clip of me saying like The haters got BTFO there. How will they ever recover when she just admitted to being a bad person? <laughs> what? His, his TV is too loud? Yeah, it was. I'm trying to work and earn money for us. And he doesn't oh even have the decency God. to turn the volume down on his game that he's, or his video he's been watching for hours. <laughs> oh so God. I have a right to be annoyed. Like, I'm trying to earn money. He doesn't even have the decency. I was trying to earn money. Didn't she, like, make like, no money? Like, at all? Like, literally, at all back then. Like, uh, I was trying to earn money. Maybe get a fucking job. <laughs> like, I was trying to earn, earn money and he didn't have the decency to turn it down. Maybe because he didn't like you. Maybe he didn't give a fuck about you. Money on my video. Like, that would be like me going to his pl work, uh, workplace and blaring TV so he can't concentrate, you know? Imagine thinking your kitchen table's your fucking workplace. <laughs> like... This is why I say she always argues against herself. So stupid. Yes, you are. Thank you. Yeah, I have the right to defend myself, exactly. This isn't I, defending I know, probably, yourself. It's not worth it, but... Uh, saying that Mr. Snowflake puts his children in the tumble dryer? You know what? Gonna argue. Why not defend yourself? Um... Yeah. So... Wow. Um, He's actually fucking nuts. Yeah, I know. Please stand by. I was just very open. Like, very, very open about everything, you know? About lying. About lying to try and make yourself interesting for attention online. And then you got the attention online, and it wasn't the attention you wanted online. Fucking boo-hoo. Imagine the time and effort Mr. Snowflake spent on his bullying and applied it to someone more productive. Like who? <laughs> like, seriously. He's like, like oh, who? he's trying to be fair. He's it's, it's not bullying to make a documentary on someone. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Sitting in a gray background trying to be a soft white underbelly. Like, get a life. You're, you're listening to haters as your source of information. Uh -huh. Please. And, the, and you got a lot wrong, by the way. Like, for example, <laughs> anything? I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's so stupid. No matter how much you try to... Um, no, I don't want him here defending me at all. Thank you. Um, Do you want to, like, I don't know, find a point, like, at any point here to argue anything like anything when your only argument so far is that the person who made accusations against you slept with other people's boyfriends like come like come you have to have something better you've already said you show me your bank statements weirdly they haven't materialized you talked about all the emails and text messages you have that would prove this person's crazy weirdly you haven't pulled them up on screen yet it's been very weird i don't get all the effort and time spent on something that's just like like what like i don't get it like stuff that's happened so long ago it makes him money. You, you already said. Uh, I don't get why he's doing it. You, you, you've already argued that it makes him money. Like you've or, already said that because people find this interesting. It makes him money. It actually got him a hundred thousand subscribers without needing to go and beg in someone's chat. Please, please, I just need eight hundred more subs. Please, people, come and sub to me. He does, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Then she looks unbothered, doesn't she? She's convinced me. I don't know. I think I was a little bit too harsh at the start of this video. She seems, she seems pretty on ball. She seems fine. She seems like her blood pressure is absolutely fine. The, the, the rosy face. It's probably because she's been out on the beach all day. Mr. Cardigan was so serious yet. Where is Kai's documentary about her as a child trafficker enabler? She has no personality, so no one's gonna bother doing a, a documentary on her. No, it's not that she has no personality. It's that she's like a nobody. Like it's that, that's really it. Is she's just like some random reaction channel? Like there are documentaries about the Hater Nation and about reaction channels. Like, there are. Like, she's just pretending there aren't because I guess it just serves her purpose. But the thing is, 
The reaction channels are built around how terrible a person Chantelle is. So obviously, if you're going to make a documentary, you're going to make it about the awful person that got all these people talking, because that's like the interesting thing. Because if you said, I'm going to make a documentary on Kaya, whoever the fuck it is, like I think, yeah, is that the child pimp person? If you make it like a documentary on that person, it's like, oh, wow, how many people are going to watch that? Like, I don't know, a couple thousand maybe. But if you make it around Foodie, who is despised pretty much everywhere everyone who knows her she tried to escape the tiktok she got pushed off tiktok because everyone on tiktok said ah no 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 thank you like big youtubers like tom horlock isn't it harlock made a made a video about her loads of people cinnamon toast can have made videos about her like pe people talk about her because she's like a detestable awful person so yeah it's likely to get him attention and to get him money like, and that's not even, like, a diss on him. It's just, like, that's just standard. It's standard business. I'm pretty sure people aren't out there making documentaries. That they say, okay, you can make a documentary right now on um, the Gulf War. Okay, so this is the Gulf War. Massively important cultural significance in America, uh, across the Middle East. It's that Middle Eastern policies for years and years to come. Or you can make a, a documentary on Azerbaijan um, and their, their issues with uh, Armenia, uh, you can make a documentary on that uh, conflict that very few people know about and very few people honestly give a fuck about. Which one of the two are you really going to talk about if you want to get some money and attention? I think it's pretty obvious. But yes, they forgive someone who literally is be in bed with a child, tra somebody with a legit sex offender, um, no matter how you spin it. You know, that's the past. Yeah, but you're still with this person. If some things are unforgivable, like with her own words, and, and people... I, uh, okay. Am I in bed with this person? Who the f Like I said... I have heard of this person solely from her repeatedly telling her, me, that apparently because I'm, like, I always said I'm not really part of Hater Nation because I just kind of do my own thing. But, like, she's repeatedly saying, you've all forgiven her. And I'll, I don't know who the fuck she is. <laughs> like, that is the extent of it. I don't know who the fuck she is. I, I'm i not friends with this person. I, I I don't know. I haven't heard many other reaction channels being like, oh, that kind of person we all love. I haven't heard anyone do it. It's so weird that she just thinks, oh, well, there's a reactor over there. He's apparently a terrible piece of shit human. Everyone seems fine with her. Do they? Where? Point to me on the doll where everyone's like, oh, she's cool. We like that. Always say Karate Joe. He supported Karate Joe. He until he, I found out what he was like. And then he did not make another appearance in my chat. Prove it. Never, not once. He was blocked that day. So no, I don't. I love that she... Any, see, the biggest problem with her, anytime she ever says prove it, I immediately suspect that she is lying because anytime she ever said that with the whole Natter thing, prove it. People then found out that she was lying. So anytime she says prove it, I have a Pavlovian response now to go like, mm, I think you're lying. Don't. The difference is this person is still in bed with this person. That's the difference. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, anyway, so much hypocrisy, so many lies. It's all BS. You can enjoy whatever you want. You guys can still try to beat up on somebody who doesn't even exist anymore. If that's what you want to do with your entertainment, salivating over. Who doesn't exist anymore? Are you, are you still talking Karate Joe? Imagine your only goal in life right now, your entertainment, you get popcorn for, you sit down in your PJs, is to see someone rage. Like, what uh -huh. kind of life are you living? Like, don't. Well, apparently you aren't raging, so I don't know what you're talking about. No one's sitting here enjoying a rage. Cause apparently you're not raging. You're you're laughing. That's what you said a second ago, which is coming across in my opinion she is laughing a lot come for me because i that's not what i'm into at all and that really? way there makes me a better person than all of those five thousand people who really? just again beat the dead horse over and over and over really? i saw a reaction channel who's supposed she keeps talking about five thousand people i'm assuming that's how many people are in the premiere chat so i'm assuming she was one of the five thousand people in the premiere chat be muslim in there nice muslim nice muslim you are gossiping and backbiting on another muslim uh should I should I just let that hang in the air like a fart for a little bit? Of the irony of her complaining about a Muslim bitching about another Muslim and criticizing their Muslimus Muslimitude. Whilst that is literally what she just fucking did. Gotcha. So don't ever come for my morality ever. You just fucking did what you just criticized. <laughs> I rejected free cheese. Yeah. No, it's not all in my words. Oh hell no. My story time, sure. But he did a lot of talking crap and using reference people who made up lies about me. Like her. like Kathy. Like Michael B. Sweaty. Like, like, Mike, Michael, oh, Michael be sweaty. How will he recover from that? I, I don't, like I said, I, I don't, I don't know. I haven't watched it, but like, if he played a, a clip of Michael B. Petty's video, like, I'm sure that was Michael B. Petty reacting to something that you did on video. So I fucking don't know. Please. Are you going to really, really? Oh yeah. And Boozin, black facing. That's okay though. That was swept right under the rug. Shannon, modded <laughs> once again by FFG, swept right under the rug. What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> she just is randomly just like saying 
shit that apparently okay i'm gonna argue the point constantly someone else doing something bad does not mean you are immediately good like I'm, it, morality isn't black and white like she is also arguing she's also arguing about morality here but her morality is well someone did something bad so i'm, I'm a good person everything is swept under the rug unless it's me um and a lot of Islamophobic people in your chat. I'm so jealous of your chat, Mr. Cardigan. Uh, Mary Ham, Islamophobic people, disgusting people in there. No thanks. You can stay over there. I would not trade my audience. Uh, 500 people. If I'm not on camera, sometimes less. I would. 500 people. Really? <laughs> really? Really? Wasn't it like 180 people when she's playing Phasmophobia? And the last time I saw her live, she had like 360 people in it. This probably got more because obviously this is her raging. I would rather have 50 than 5,000 disgusting people. So yeah, that's not my words at all. So uh, I'm, assu I'm assuming she saw like one person say something Islamophobic, but like if her argument is, well, I saw someone call me at Mary Ham. As such, all 5,000 people, them are bad. See that statement? That's what makes you also a bad person. Um, Michael B. Sweaty, you're going to take the moral high ground. When you start, you were a hate channel. You were a proud no. hater. You've made fat shamed Amber Lynn for years saying her no. hands are disgusting and bloated. You said some vile things about her. What did she uh -huh. do to you? Bail on her diet? Get a life. No. Well, you just called him Michael B. Sweaty. <laughs> You're insulting him. You can't complain about him insulting someone else when you are insulting him as well. It's a shit contest. Everyone's covered in shit. Who's going to take more moral uh, lessons from you? So... Who's going to take moral lessons from you? <laughs> this is the irony. You can't argue this point. You're the worst person to argue this whatever. point. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Well, someone just I'm got blocked to, again. supporting each other, so whatever. The Muslim Raptor is a train wreck. She literally sat for four hours on live trying to figure out if you had photoshopped your photo. Yeah, this is a Muslim, devout Muslim person talking about my morality and my, my, uh, being Muslim and all these other things. Yep, are you, and you just did exactly the same thing again, fuck's sake. Please. Hi Tracy, Monkey Mar. She's so fucking nuts every time she does that. I've seen people in the chat that. say, I'm Muslim and I find Mary Ham offensive. You're not going to see people like that in my chat, that's for sure. The whole what? Weren't those people on her side? Like, weren't those people on her, like, she saw people in the, the chat saying, I find Mary Ham offensive. You don't find them in my chat. But what, aren't they arguing on your behalf? Aren't they arguing for you? That Because you're the one who said that, Mar that Mary Ham is offensive and Islamophobic. And those people seemingly agree with you, but then you just shit on them. Is she the stupid she doesn't even realize what she just did? The whole world can hate you as long as you strive to make God proud. None of the rest of us matters whether approve or not. Keep striving 100k subs. Thank you. Are you going to try and strive to do <laughs> that you. though? I can prove. I can put on my... Uh, uh, I can prove. I'm going to go and get my Quran right now and I'm on page 57 now. Ha! Eat it, haters. <laughs> community post where I messaged YouTube because I was concerned about my channel growing. And they were and they were like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, it's not possible for someone to, like for someone to buy you subs. It's probably just if it's bots or something, YouTube will just clear them out. Uh-huh. Yeah, after you got caught. Yeah, see? <laughs> I owned you because I bought a bunch of subs and then people caught me and I sent a message to YouTube. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Who knows? Maybe it's Photoshop. <laughs> Fucking knows. I didn't see the community top post because I don't look at her community top post because I generally don't give a shit about her rage posts. Like, that, that, like, what's the smugness? The smugness is you got caught out because people noticed what you were doing and then you tried to say, oh, the reaction channels are buying me subs. Why the fuck would reaction channels buy you subs? I checked Salah's bank statements because I was like, did you buy me subs? Did you? No, he showed me. No. And then Salah went, whoa, I don't actually exist. So, I don't know. <laughs> She's like, so stupid. Yeah, say a prayer for trolls to find happiness in their life. And no, these are like legit people who believe just whatever these people say. Like, if you knew how Kathy was, like, oh my gosh. Oh my god. You're oh my gosh. You're obsessed with this person. Holy actual fuck. Like, the fact that you're trying to make it sound like this woman is like stalking and harassing you. You are obsessed with this person. You will not stop fucking talking about her. Horrible person. You're a horrible person. Just because she, like, just because she's also potentially horrible doesn't mean you're less horrible. It affects their lives. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. The mods are working hard today. Yeah. Karate Joe was a mod in my channel for a long time, and then one mm. day he was doxxed, and it was found out that he had uh, he was a sex offender, registered sex offender, and after that he completely he was blocked in my channel, and uh -huh. he completely disappeared. I've even had loyal beezers um, remember that. I've even had Laura B. They, they remember. They, they remember that. Oh wow! What a slam dunk that that that, that proved. Fucking anything? Did, did that prove anything? Oh, loyal beezers. Glad that you named all of those people who agree with you and remember, even though you don't have the same audience right now as you did back then. Like literally, none of the names are the same. So where are these loyal beezers right now saying this exact same thing? Like what? The, that doesn't make any fucking difference. 
So also, I- just saying, the whole like he got blocked and he also disappeared doesn't make sense because if he got blocked, you'd never see him again. So how would you know he disappeared if you did actually block him? Because if you know he disappeared, but also was blocked, then you wouldn't have seen that he disappeared. He could still have been there posting. You just wouldn't have seen it. How am I? Yes, like I supported him when he was a mod for a long time. I didn't know who he was. He was just a name in my chat. Here, bro. You know? I didn't know about his past. Didn't so you she, can't put that on me. Didn't she like message with him and stuff like that? Because she's already been proven to message with her actual like moderators and all. So like, where's the proof that you didn't message with him? That's not my fault. Um, you know. Are you sure? Yeah, Katie. And he passed away too since that. Oh no. Thanks, Lynn. I'm glad to hear that. That he I want passed, to try to but he passed away? I knew he, would, he, was obs- he was really loyal. He was obsessed with Oreos and Big Mac sauce. <laughs> so I don't know what else. You know? Kids, apparently. Florida. People only have these standards. I know, strive for change. And they're only revealing themselves to be just more disgusting. Because the things that they condone, racism, Islamophobia, um, so much is just disgusting. Like, just because Where? they have mutual hate for me. Where? You know? <laughs> Where? <laughs> My film director. Cousin. She just randomly says, all the other haters, racist, Islamophobes. It's like where <laughs> it, it's, it's always so weird that she okay so she gets accused of racism instantly she just accuses all haters of being racist she gets accused of being anti-semitic instantly she accuses everyone of being anti-islamophobic uh, it's just so weird that once someone like says something to her she's like well no actually that's you guys that has always been her counterpoint and it's just so cringe it's like why don't you just make up an insult yourself as opposed to just using something the haters say against you and you just say actually no you guys and then that's it like said he was really bad quality no, it's like he's trying to be like soft white underbelly or something with his stupid cardigan sweater. Oh, oh, how will he ever recover that the only insult you seem to have for him is that he wears a cardigan? Bro, have you seen yourself? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, in general, have you fucking seen yourself? He was never back in my chat ever, ever sure. back in my chat. Sure. I don't know if I believe you, um, just because you know how you changed that story about the shedding on people's floor? See the way you changed that story? I don't actually believe you now, because you've already proven to lie, and you argue that with such conviction, so like, why would I believe this now? Um, so yeah. How, how, no, I wasn't racist. Oh, please. How? Were you not? How was I racist? Are you, <laughs> oh uh, see, this is also the biggest problem, because like, she obviously knows what people are referring to. And she is just pretending she doesn't know in any way what people are talking about. That's why people will always go like, ah, you're probably lying about that. People will just naturally take the stance that you're lying about everything you do or say because you're being this dishonest. Um, Vanessa. Friggin' people. Friggin' people? No. So, that's it. That's all I wanted to say, I guess. I, I just so many stupid... We have an hour and a half to go. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Are we gonna start playing Phasmophobia now? <laughs> Um, I don't care if no one believes- Who? The 5,000 haters that- I don't care that no one believes me! Now, let me go on about this for another hour and a half. <laughs> hate no matter what I do, don't Clearly not. Muslim. I don't care what grounds you have to say I'm not Muslim. Who in the right mind has the right to say- You don't know what direction to pray in, that's probably a good one. The fact that you had to start reading the Quran now, probably- Probably that one as well, since you had to make a big deal about reading the Quran, and when someone asks you what your favorite passage was, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. It, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's so much because <laughs> you actually have no idea what's actually even in it. That somebody doesn't believe in something. That's ridiculous. You're you're I don't you're a lost cause. I don't even have words for you. Well, you believed in God when, during Cuba because that was your way of trying to get it past the Cuba rage. So like yeah yeah it's you kind of have a history of suddenly pretending to be pious and believing in something to get away from drama. Like you do have that history. Seriously. Seriously. What did I stumble into? Hi, Black's chaos. Just a bunch of BS. Just a bunch of BS. I don't even care. I'm like or so over it. Or the end of lives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Lynn. I don't know like what your point, I don't know what the point is, but if you're going to like use haters from Kiwi Farms, people who um, have done worse to me, such as Kathy in my life, she used to put curses on people. To she used to put curses on people? Oh my God, did she have a voodoo doll? <laughs> you fuck me. If they, seriously, right now, the, the discredit uh, Kathy. We have, she should have her kids taken away from her because she called me fat. She's, was mean to me. And also she slept with other people's boyfriends. And also she was a witch. Like if, are, are these really the slam dunks she thinks they are? Try to kill them. Okay. Um, I could get my friend to testify to that, but there's no point. I'm not Please going do. to entertain. Please and- do. Make up a friend and have them testify to that. I could have them do it, but I'm not going to. Oh, so just like you were going to show your bank statements and then just like you were going to show all the receipts and the emails that you have, but aren't going to. You know, just like that over... And over and over again. It's so weird that you keep saying you have all this evidence, but you're just 
choosing not to do it. More of this crap. I know part two is just going to be all about natured and it's going to be all about um, probably well, victim racist. shaming. As if that I've heard that's Islamophobic. I've heard that saying someone's uh, name in a different way is Islamophobic. So it's kind of disgusting that you're being so Islamophobic right now. That's disgusting. You know what, Mr. Cardigan? Unless you're in an abusive relationship with an abusive narcissist, you can can it. And doo-doo... Well, he hasn't been in a relationship with you, so I think he's absolutely fine. You can can it too, because you're going to act like we don't have video evidence of him smacking you around, you stupid idiot. Seriously. Oh my fucking god. Imagine the fucking goal. Imagine going straight from- I was abused! Also, fucking bitch doo-doo. We have evidence of him smacking you around, so sit the fuck down, you fucking ugly bitch. I can't believe that was the same sentence. She is fucking nuts. I've never seen someone so angrily yeah. drink water. <laughs> Seriously. I've seen boxers Literal. sit at the side of the ring and have more casual sips of water than that. Video evidence of uh, of him being abusive. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. You're going to say I was manipulative? Yes. He's the king of manipulators. Yeah. The king of manipulators. What? So you, may, you say I'm abusive? Well, I was only a nine. He was a ten. So I'm the good guy in the situation. You can both be shit. Manipulators. Any narcissist abuser is, okay? Yes, you and are. I fell in the trap, sure. You whatever. are. But looking back now, oh boy. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, I know, Gizmo. She is the worst person at defending herself. <laughs> it's it's like, it's one of those things. Why do you even bother? Because you are so shit at it. There's just no point. Yeah, I'm in Kuwait. Are you? Only are you God a... is the ultimate judge. Exactly. Is that a exactly. green screen? Is that a green screen? Then why do you care? Why are you freaking the fuck out if you actually believe that? Oh my god, it's almost like you don't actually believe that. So, that, I would say, is BS 100%. How's your shiatica doing? You seem to be doing pretty good sitting there for I, a long well, period of time. I have no idea. You know, oh, well, you should have kept the charges on him or it didn't happen. Okay, go look up statistics. You also shouldn't have made up the charges. Like, that, that would be my counterpoint. Typically, how many abused women drop charges? Go look. Uh-huh. How many makeup you have charges? For someone at the time, and they make you feel bad. Did you hear anything he would say to me? Anything he said to me? No, you didn't. You never heard his him trying to, you know. Doesn't he have like an entire like? I love look at this face of her face is like fuck. What was I even saying there? What is even my point? This is the face of fuck. I have no idea what I'm even trying to claim here because like you've never even heard his side of this thing, and I'm just like he has an entire YouTube channel. Get in my good graces, or like try to say, "Oh, I love you," blah blah blah, to try to, you know what I mean? He was very manipulative, and going so from having somebody like BB to that. So what the you? heck? I had no experiences with people like this. Like, well, actually, you, you you actually claimed that you did. You actually claimed that you did when you were like seventeen year a seventeen year old was it or sixteen seventeen? I can't remember what it was with that guy who had a pregnant girlfriend and he abused her and manipulated her and the girlfriend showed up to beat her up at school and stuff like that. So she actually does have experience with that kind of relationship. So I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Please. And at the time, of course, I didn't want to believe what he, what uh, uh, May said. You know, all I knew was. What I knew was she was a fucking whore trying to steal my fucking man. That you, I, I finished your sentence for you because that's the actual honest thing. Whatever the fuck you're going to say there is going to be fucking Delulu like because we just saw the exact same shit with Kybella. We saw exactly the same shit with Kybella where it was entirely Kybella's fault with her being near a man. Just like you're blaming Dee Dee for stealing Natter off you. All that kind of shit. That's why you didn't believe me. There was this woman who, who wanted to come down and see him, fly down to see him, spend all that money for what, his cooking? So I thought she had a crush on him. So many women were reaching out to him and he said it was consensual. What did I know? You know what I mean? How do I know? I wasn't there. Like, I went- Then why did you make an alibi for him if you didn't know? That's the biggest, that's the biggest problem. It's why I said she's a really bad defender. And it's like, I try and make my, my reactions funny and that's why I generally don't do rage just because I'm just sitting there talking about heavy subjects. And I'm just like, I don't really want to talk about heavy subjects. I'm not generally qualified to talk about heavy subjects. She also is not qualified to talk about heavy subjects because she is like, because because God, I'm abrasive. I am abrasive. I'm a dick. Like, but Jesus Christ, she is like a fucking walrus trying to fucking like do abacus. I went home. I don't even remember everything. Like, it's so dumb to try to blame me saying, oh, and people are saying that I brought him women. Who? Who did I bring? Who did I for? I didn't even know he had all these women. I didn't even know he was cheating on me. I you did. You, you did like numerous times. You like numerous times pointed out that he was cheating on you. I was in denial. For so long, he lied to me about even being with Dee Dee the whole time. And then when I heard the same- He lived with Dee Dee. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Bar lounge videos, I was like, okay, it's confirmed. I'm going to bat for you. I, I went to hell for this guy. And he- So, oh, see, so you shot yourself in the foot there. If you're saying that you were like totally on his side until the, the bar lounge videos came out and then you're like, whoa, he is actually an abuser and you took a step back. 
even though you claimed that you experienced the exact same stuff. So why was like seeing the bar lounge videos like made you think that he's an abuser when apparently you suffered under him way worse than she did for way longer than she did? That doesn't make sense. He was lying to me the whole time and, and I was putting up with his abuse and everything. Goodbye. I'm, I'm whatever. Never. Slim, that's the dumbest question ever. You try to get back with him constantly. People thinking like, I miss constantly. that loser? I'm like, do I ever- You brought him up repeatedly. You brought him up the second Salah tried to shit on Kybella. Talk about him? Do I ever- you Yes. Know, never. I never- Over and over again. Him. Yes. Ever. Repeatedly. Unless it's brought up by people, like reaction no, channels- you! Uh, who want to bring up that. No one brought him up during the Salah thing. The first thing you did was start talking about him again. You made a fucking song about him when you got with Salah. That, that traumatic part of my life, you know? Um... I felt bad for Didi, and a part of me does, honestly. No, you didn't. I know, this, I know what- You fucking bitch. This fucking evidence, you fucking whore. You are, you are welcome to him. Didn't she say she hoped he like choked her out or something like that? I feel so sorry for her, clearly. He's like, but at this point, she doesn't even feel bad for herself. Like she's just like, I think she's just like him, like in a lot of ways. I don't know, she's a strange one. You're a fucking psychotic. Your entire argument is that you were stuck in the relationship with him and you thought he loved, loved you, so you're willing to put up with all of it. Oh, but Didi, no, that's totally different. She's like, she's the narcissistic abuser, crazy as well, and she deserves to be abused. Like, wouldn't your thought process be like, she must be just like me, I should save her? Wouldn't that be like a normal reaction from someone like in an abusive relationship? Isn't that why so many women who like escape abusive relationships become like abuse counselors is because they try and help other women? Isn't that like why FFG apparently, like, and I say apparently because I don't, I don't know the whole story, like, but it, from what I heard, because I didn't follow it all the way back then, isn't that why FFG apparently reached out to her at first to warn her about like uh, Natter and she then give Natter her phone number and doxed like her, like FFG's phone number and all and like dressed up as FFG with like a bleeding head wound and stuff like that to make fun of FFG. Like, so like, where is this coming from? This is not how most people would act. This is why she said, I'm a totally normal person. No, most normal people would want to like help people in domestic relationships like that. They wouldn't be like, ha, I hope he chokes you out. You deserve it. I'll tell you. But I mean, oh, she's you can go to bat for him all you want, Didi. He's not going to change and he's not worth it. You have your mother there. He's a disgusting human being. You have to support him. I know because I had to. Uh -huh. Um, You're going to. Why are you blaming her? Like, like for someone who cries victim blaming so much, you're, you're doing a lot of, like, shitting on Dee Dee in this situation. I'm just, just saying, there's not been a lot of shit thrown at Natter so far. You're pretty miserable, and you're going to regret it one day. I know it. Like, like so, shouldn't this be, like, solely about Natter? Shouldn't you not be, like, still upset that she stole your man? This does, like, this is why I say, it doesn't come across like someone who actually experienced abuse. Mother living in a one-bedroom condo. Yeah. <laughs> Now, in retrospect, yeah, I believe, I don't know, I wasn't there, but the story is a lot more plausible about me because when I reread over and over those messages, I was like, wait, you know, and then just the way he would lie about like how he just told so many lies. And you told so many lies. <laughs> you told so many lies over and over and over again. And then, the, oh, I didn't actually want to. He, he made me do it. And then you went into this new relationship and you lied fucking constantly as well. So what the fuck are you talking about? This is why I said, I, 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 I'm kind of burning out here, guys. I think we all, like we're, an, I'm an R in this recording and I'm not really having fun because it's a heavy subject and I am here to laugh. I try and have fun with it. And this is like very heavy and she's just really showing herself. This is like, it's so weird that she came out to like argue, how dare you people think I'm a vile person. And this is probably one of the most vile live streams she's had in a very, very long time. This like, all you need to do is just play this as evidence of, Oh, is Foodie Beauty actually a terrible person? Just sit down and play this. I think you're pretty sorted. I don't think there'll be many people who argue against you, especially knowing anything about the DD situation. So I'm kind of at this point starting to like rein back. I think I might start skipping a lot or I might even just end it here because I'm not having fun anymore, guys. I This isn't what I find fun. This isn't really my bag. So, like I said, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll kind of start skipping here, uh, but I'll, I'll let you know if I'm going to end the video, okay, guys? You were you were mean to your audience. No, I'm mean to audience members who would always come in and bully me and shame me for failing on a diet or doing whatever. Yeah, like, I'm not just going to come up to you and be mean to you for no reason. Like, you don't know me in real life. I'm actually really nice and personable, and I've had a lot of friends. Um, okay. Before I isolate myself. I had a lot of friends. Okay. People always thought I was funny. You know, I was always 
making I, I get along uh, with uh, everybody I, I, meet me. You know what I mean? No one. No one likes you. Like where are all these friends? Where are all these fans? All these people who love you. Uh, I'm I'm skipping all the way to here. Um yeah, it, it went, went more just into, I'm such a victim, not just the worst person ever, he's so awful to me. All just the usual shite over and over again that I just don't have any interest in covering whatsoever. But I'm sorry, just the whole summary. I'm actually like really, it, it has the same vibe of the, I'm actually really pretty and really funny. It's like, oh yeah, everyone likes me. If they get It's like the same shit Amberlynn says, the same shit like Boogie says. It's the same shit all these people say when no one else sees it. No, I, oh, I have so many friends. Dude, your your only friend is Pete's. Pete's, who literally would forgive anything. Even like she said earlier on, like how badly she treated him. And we're still friends. It's like, yeah, that's because he has low standards and no one else in his life. That is why he accepts you. So coming out to the actually, I have loads of friends. Uh, before I isolated myself, of course, there always has to be like a clause. Oh, I, ha I was super popular, but I chose to step back from all that. Sure, bro, you were so popular and so cool, even though, like, two videos ago, you were talking about how everyone hated you, and everyone bullied you for being poor and for having a single mother and all, all that kind of shit, but no, 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 you're also, at the same time, were super popular, and everyone wanted to be you, and everyone loves you, and you're the best person ever, no proof of that fucking whatsoever, you can't even, with the men you're with, the relationship, the people you're closest with, none of them even seem to want to exist near you. Even Pete's, who is your ride or die, is just like indifferent to you. Um, yeah, I'm not like I, I'm not really really enjoy, enjoying this anymore. Like I said, it's not really like my bag. It's not really the kind of stuff I enjoy. Like like I said, I don't really do the rages because I'm I don't I'm not really. It's like I said, I, I'm quite an abrasive guy, but I'm not really like an argumentative guy. I don't sit like sitting here and like just arguing back constantly. Pause, argue, pause, argue. I don't find that fun. I don't think, uh, you know, maybe some of you guys find it fun. Maybe you guys have had a bit of a chuckle. Hopefully some people f find a bit of enjoyment from, but it's not something that I find a lot of enjoyment with. So, um, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm going to stop it. I'll just stick it on two times speed and I'll just kind of let it play in the background. And if there's anything else I particularly want to say, I'll I kind of add it in towards the end. But like, yeah, I'm sorry guys if this is a bit of a bust for you. I know some people are looking forward to it. Uh, and I was, I was, you know, trying to make it a bit, bit fun. But once you get into like, her started talking in depth about the Natter thing and just being so fucking incredibly disgusting when talking about Didi and during the time that I skipped, she ran me saying, but I do, I feel so sorry for her. I just feel so bad for her and hopefully hope she escapes it. I was like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You probably do a fucking dance if she died because you are that terrible person. You probably would fucking piss on her grave and be like, hmm, that's what you get for stealing my mom. That is genuinely how lowly I think of Chantel. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll see you towards the end. If not, if I just dip out and like, to 10 minutes, I'll, I'll make sure to update you guys. So, uh, let's go. Yeah, guys, I think I'm probably gonna uh, be clocking out of this one now. It, it was just getting like, the same points just over and over again. Did you know Kathy's a whore? I, 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 I didn't, but I've been gratefully told over and over and over again that she's a whore. Reaction channels are just so much worse than Chantel because Chantel has never doxed anyone. She's never gone in real life. Uh, even though she, earlier on she admitted to like the CPS shit and everything like that. Um, she hasn't done a single bad thing in 17 years. 17 years apparently is just the cut off. Everything that ever has been bad that she's ever done was 17 years ago. So it doesn't count. And it's just, it's, it's, it's just kind of repetitive just over and over again. Every, everyone lies, but her, she's always been honest about literally everything she's ever done. Every, all the reaction channels, all are evil. All are liars, all are transphobes, racists, homophobe, Islamophobic bigots. Um, but she's never done anything of that at all. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's just like, okay. We're just, we're, we're in a loop here of like Chantel is apparently just perfect and is the best person ever. And at one point someone says, you can change your name, but you can't change. And she goes, well, how am I the same person? How am I, I, I haven't even drank. Yeah, and that was her entire argument. That literally was her argument, is I haven't drank alcohol since I put on the hijab. That was her entire argument. That That's literally it. That's how she's changed. I haven't drank. That Yep, that that's that's entirely it. Nothing about all the lies, the animal abuse, anything like that. No, no, no. She hasn't drank, guys. Uh, like I said, we're just going in a circle here. 
like, uh, I'll edit this down um, so it's not overly long because I don't want to make this overly long when it probably isn't overly enjoyable for you guys. Um, yeah, so like I said earlier on, um, pretty much I want my channel to try and be fun. I want my channel to be fun. I think that's like what I kind of go for. I don't want to try and take anything overly serious here. I just like to have fun and with rage streams where it's just like her lying because like it's, it's just her lying. We all know she lies. Everything she ever does is her lying over and over and over again. And just going, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. Isn't just overly funny. Um, so yeah, like, I'm, I'm sorry if you guys didn't enjoy this. I really am. Like, because I wanted this to try and be a wee bit fun. Um, and by the way, I don't, obviously, like, people were recommending this to me. I, I, I don't want you to feel bad for recommending it to me. I chose to do it. Uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't make it fun for you guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully you find some enjoyment of it. I prefer the videos. I prefer her being a silly ghost trying to cook. I prefer her being a silly ghost, you know, being out and about in public, being a weirdo. That's like my jam. That's what I kind of find funny about Chantal. Her rages, her community tab posts, these long rambling live streams. I find it just hard because like it's it's hard for me to sit down and dedicate two hours, a couple of hours to sit here and just do this kind of reaction to something. Um, because I'm, I'm, I'm a busy enough person in my real life. So it is kind of hard to sit down and like dedicate, like right now my recording's an hour and a half. And that's probably one of my longest recordings in a while. So I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, like I said, really sorry guys, if this isn't overly entertaining or anything like that, but hopefully some of you guys got oh, a little bit of a smile at times or like, I don't know, enjoyed some of the counter arguments. I don't, I don't know guys. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't overly enjoyable, but yeah, so guys, I am going to end the video here. However, I just at the end of it, when I was doing my editing, there's a couple things I saw that I thought I might as well quickly mention because there's a few things that are kind of just cringe. Okay. For, for example, she made 24 pounds during this entire live stream, which like imagine from like the peak of her rage streams, the best she can make is 24 pounds in a couple of like troll donations. That is the best that she can actually make nowadays, which is just kind of embarrassing. But for someone who keeps like talking about how much like this doesn't matter because it's the past, she's not that person anymore. I, I have totally different person, even though she's like proven in this that she is exactly the same person. She is the one who seems actually obsessed with the past during this entire thing. She is the one who is genuinely still upset with things, whereas she's talking about, like, that threesome story, which, like, I think a lot of the threesome story is made up, but during that apparent, like, threesome story, she kept bringing up and saying, they paid $150 to get me, and then they treated me like that? Like, she's still annoyed that these people didn't treat her well, even though they had paid for her to come. She is still upset about that. However many, 15 years later, 20 years later, she is still upset about that. Even with the BB thing earlier on when she said, like, you know, I'm trying to make his money and he didn't even have the decency to turn down his TV. Like, even that. She's still annoyed about BB having his TV on during her old videos seven years ago. For someone who is making such a big deal about how the past doesn't mean anything, she is the one who is clearly most upset about it. Uh, also, another note that I wanted to make is about her whole argument about why doesn't someone make a documentary on Kaya? Everyone knows I don't really know very much about Kaya, so maybe she has a huge, long, colorful past like Foodie Beauty does. But Foodie Beauty's argument is like, well, why don't you make a documentary about her because of this like one incident, which is like a bad incident. Like, but the thing is, like, why would you make a documentary about one random person for one random event in their past? Like, that's a pretty much it, especially when. Like, she isn't even, like, the main part of it. It's, like, her boyfriend or husband or whoever the fuck he is. He apparently is, like, the child pimp or whatever the fuck. So, like, why would you make a documentary on her because her boyfriend is, like, a child pimp? Like, why, why would you do that? People make documentaries about Foodie or talk about Foodie because she is, like, a constantly terrible person for years and years and years. It's not like Foodie did one thing. It's not like she did the, the BBJ situation. Like, if she did just that... People might not even know who she is because it's just that one thing. But she is consistently a terrible person. That's what she's so weird that she just doesn't seem to understand. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. Sorry, like I said, that it wasn't overly enjoyable. I've tried to edit it down, try and make it a wee bit more punchy. But that's going to be it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.